How's it going everybody? Welcome to this video where we're going to be taking a look at how I outline and sketch out drawings from imagination. So if you are familiar with my work or this new line of work that I've been producing, then you know that I normally start off by putting down an initial outline or a preliminary sketch and then I work into it further with details, texture, shading, stuff like that. It's an important part of the process because it's when you construct the whole drawing so that you can then confidently work into it further. A lot of you have been asking questions about it so I've decided to throw this video together put some footage on screen of me creating an outline for a new drawing and then I can go ahead and talk about my approach the things that I consider just to give some general advice and maybe you can take something away from this so when it comes to starting a drawing you will probably have an idea in your head try to imagine that on the paper Try to visualise what you want to draw, the angles, the scale, the composition, all of that stuff. Because if we know what we are going to draw, we can start to plan in the right direction. I begin most of these drawings by establishing the horizon line. This is my eye level in the scene that I'm creating. And what comes after that is the vanishing points on that line. In this example, the vanishing points are away from the paper. I find these points and uh, yeah, sometimes I use a ruler to help me as well. In fact, I use a ruler a lot when it comes to the construction. If you want to make sure your lines are converging correctly, then uh, yeah, I'd recommend using a ruler so you can get them straight lines towards them points. But once I've worked all of that out, then I'm ready to start building the drawing. I normally like to pencil in some of the larger objects. For instance, if this was a street scene, I'd outline some of the buildings and where the cars would go. And at this stage, these would all be basic shapes. For the placement of figures in the drawings, I normally create a mannequin block out like this, like you can see I'm doing here. Developing a drawing with the basic shapes at the start gives you an early sense of what is going on and what it's going to look like. For example, I use a mannequin block out like this because it helps me with the proportions and also the scale of the figures. What I'm drawing here by the way is like a robot stood behind a counter working in a store of some kind. So even though these outlines are faint, you can still sort of see that. It's the new illustration in a big project that I've got going on. I could have blocked out more objects and started to really develop the background more, but normally I like to improvise a bit and just do it as I go along. I'm always visualising the image I'm setting out to draw in my head, so what's on the paper isn't everything that I see, if that makes sense. As I'm drawing this, I'm picturing all of these other elements. With this image specifically, I didn't think much planning was needed because it was quite simple in terms of the perspective and the composition. Position. The main character and focus of this piece will be up at the front behind the counter. Because I've established how this is going to look at such an early stage, I can start to confidently construct the drawing in more detail. It's important to realise that I'm also adding detail and constructing everything I draw using basic forms in relation to the perspective. I've done a few tutorials on this sort of stuff and I'm also practising myself. I'm not sure why I started to draw the cash register and the jar next to it before anything else and to be honest I don't normally have a specific place where I start, I'm always just taking it as I go along but eventually I went to the main focus point in this drawing which is what is going to be a robot here. I've already got a figure blocked out in perspective so this is acting as my guide as I start to draw in detail. I don't use any references for this and although it might look complicated it's really just about placing lines which keep with the overall perspective and improvising a bit as I start to create something that I'm happy with. I use the eraser a lot and I redraw things until I get them how I want. I enjoy drawing robots and things like this because because you can really play around with how they look. A lot of the time it's just throwing together shapes and creating something which has similar proportions to that of a person but I find that you can be quite experimental with how you do that. For instance this robot is going to have four arms and although I'm rotating these on different angles I still have to consider things like the perspective and the scale. I could have done some slight foreshortening with the arms if they was going further into the distance but when I get that main subject in the drawing which is this robot finished I can start developing everything else. I start to add more items on this counter and uh, pencil in different objects. For some of these things I look at references but normally the references that I look at are on different angles so they only provide me with the details and how things appear. I have to take what I see and draw it so that it suits my drawing. 
I'm going to leave a lot of this in time lapse now. Notice how I always make sure the objects that I start to draw converge to the vanishing points. I'm also using some techniques for dividing and estimating dimensions. A lot of these are covered in the perspective tutorials on the channel. You might also see how many times I erase objects and redraw them in. I'm not afraid to make mistakes and correct them at this stage. So yeah, I'm just going to let this play out for a second and then jump to the part where I start creating more permanent outlines because right now I'm drawing all of this in lightly. Okay, so jumping forward, I have drafted out some outlines and constructed all of this drawing. Because I'm making this video, I thought I'd outline everything a bit more clearly and give you a better example. Normally at this stage, I'd just go straight into the drawing, adding textures and details, but with this, I'm taking a different approach. I'm going to be trying out something different with this drawing soon, so for now I'm just sticking to the outlines. You can see how I'm adding details anyways without fully rendering everything. Here I'm making small changes, but nothing too different. I'm happy with the the perspective and how the robot appears so now I'm just taking this forward with some bolder outlines. I also add some details like the wires and things on the robot here. The background at the minute is still also a rough outline. I didn't spend too much time going into detail with that at first and instead I just blocked it in and decided where I wanted everything. As this plays out here you'll see how even the smallest of details still follow the drawing's overall perspective. We can take a closer look at that when it's done. Okay so that wraps up the outline for this drawing and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I've also made the line around the robot slightly thicker than the rest of the drawing so it highlights it a bit more but before we end this I'll quickly lay over some lines which show the location of the horizon line and vanishing points. The points are away from the page but you can see how everything converges towards them and looks correct. Sometimes I make the odd mistakes in the construction, only to realise later, but I'm looking forward to developing this drawing. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date. So there we go, that was a, a quick insight into the outlining stage of a drawing. I hope you found this one useful. If you did, then please give the video a like because it helps me out. Subscribe if you want to keep up to date with all of the content that I'll be putting out in the future. And uh, yeah, that's everything. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.